Hey everybody. Hey, I'm going to go live with one of my um, friends about reopening of um, the salons. Not so much about just like the regulations and all of that kind of stuff, which I also posted and I'll post on my Instagram. Uh, the governor has allowed for salons, nail salons, um, all of that to be open on May 8th. Um, let me see. Let me see. I don't know why there isn't any sound. Let me see. Can you guys hear me? See if you can hear me. Let me know that if you can or can't hear me. Okay, let me see. You can hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, good. Good. Okay. So I'm going to add Tarvia in right now. Tarvia in. Um, so we're just going to go over live. Tarvia is, she also goes by Tarvia Bills, the cleaning lady. Okay, buddy. Hi. If, I'm gonna, this is Tarvia, everybody. Um, okay, good. I'm glad you guys can hear now. So we're kind of talking in conjunction with, you know, the governor has decided to open up salons, barbershops, all that. Um, on Friday, which doesn't really give us a lot of time to really do anything. Um, so I decided to do a live with Tarvia. Tarvia is a local black owned business here in um, Texas in Arlington, Texas. And she owns um, Tarvia Bills, the cleaning lady company. I'll let her tell you a little bit about her business and how this is kind of relevant to um, businesses right. opening back up right now. Well, good afternoon. Thanks for the invite, sis. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I just wanted everyone to uh, try to take precautions as we try to slowly uh, go back into our normal habits. But I think this is basically going to be the new normal. Uh, yeah. With the barbershops and beauty salons, nail places and everything opening, I believe, here in Texas, uh, opening on Friday. So I'm not for sure if it's going to be the same, like 25% capacity or how it is with the restaurants or anything right now. But I just wanted everyone to make sure that they are safe. Uh, especially like, I know when I come in to you to, to get my hair done, uh, yeah. you're always uh, washing down, wiping down the chairs and everything like that from the, so, uh, from the uh, shampoo bowl to sitting in the actual styling seat. Uh, yeah. But they will need to make sure that they have something on hand to write down after each client. And you're gonna have yeah. to give that time to dry. You can't wipe yeah. it down and then go back and dry it, you know, yeah. just so you can get the person in the chair. So with the best solution with that, besides uh, Lysol, you know, they can use that. I wouldn't recommend that. I would uh, actually uh, refer that they use a spray bottle with some bleach and water and give okay. it time to dry. Dilute it with some water and just give it time to dry you know, why you're setting up for the next client. That's the same now, thing. The case. Also with you, tell people for one, what your business is and what services you even provide. Well, I am a target business cleaning lady. I do residential, commercial and construction cleaning. And at this time during this pandemic, we have taken on the disinfecting cleaning. So we're able to go into homes uh, vacant and lived in and just, this, you know, sterilize the home. Uh, we have the machines to do that and the chemicals to provide that for residential businesses and commercial. And we have been doing that since this pandemic has taken place. Uh, yeah, that's so not anyone who is opening back up, um, Tarvia is available as well to go yes, into your salon, go into your place and make sure that you have um, everything that you need set up as well as sterilize your situation before clients come in. And you could have that as a thing for when clients come in, like, hey, we have completely been sterilized. This is right. happened on this date. Da, 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 da. She says, Lori asked, will it stain the beds with bleach? She no. is an esthetician. So she has like a... Um, like a yes, I have my, bed. yes, I'm going to do my institutions. I'm sure she's going to be contacting me soon, but no, it will not just uh, do it with a little bleach and water. It doesn't take a lot of bleach. Long as the product is 70% uh, alcohol, it should work. Okay. And you need to do that between each client. 
if so could we of, use could we use a spray bottle with rubbing alcohol like yes ma'am and you not regular rubbing alcohol i i recommend the green the medicated the i know that it's hard to find right now but it is the best and you can okay. also use peroxide in water you're just wiping it down okay uh you know but you need to do that with every client and every hard surface from the uh, to the, I know now we go into the restroom from the handles in the restroom. When somebody goes in there to clean, I would take something, you know, just to wipe it down. I'm hopefully that these facilities have a cleaning person on hand to help with that. Do you yeah. know? Because again, you know, it lasts up to 17 days on hard surfaces. So we have to be careful and we don't know where everybody has been. Everybody says they've been inside the home, you know, but I know myself, I'm out in the field every day. So I go out. So, and yeah. another thing, this, I want to interject to say this too. Besides what we do, we have people now that we're going into their homes is that we're cleaning out their washing machines and their dryers. So, oh, you know, right. clothes, yeah, you need to do that with a, uh, a cleaning vinegar, you know, put a cleaning vinegar into your machine and let it run hot. You need to do, do that at least once a week. Okay, to get those that's good. That mm -hmm. Now, what you about recommending for, um, like, people forget about their phones, disinfecting their phones? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Everything. Your phones and uh, your kids' ball when they're outside with the balls. Uh, just, I mean, steering, the steering wheel, the stuff in your it, car. It, it, your she touches. asked, we have, um, if you're asking, will 70% white cleaning alcohol work too? That will work, but the, the green is better. Again, it's because it's medicated. It's just a little bit stronger, I think, by 8%, but it works a whole lot better. Okay. It, work, okay. it, works, it works a whole lot, but it works a whole lot better. And okay. if you, I, go ahead. We're going to also make sure that we tag Tarvia's um, contact information in the comments um, for yes. you guys that want to reach out to her. Yeah, definitely the green, she said, Lori. So, yes, anything. Go ahead. Sister. Yeah, we just want to make sure that your contact information is available and that people can follow you on Instagram because you also give tips and all of that. Vita yes, needs okay. your info. So I'm going yes, to my sister in. should. Yeah, I have to say my sister should be dropping everything inside there. Uh, that and I do cleaning videos and everything on YouTube and all that good stuff. So that yes. can be followed on all, all aspects of social media. So the green alcohol and bleach or bleach with water. You can do the green alcohol, do that straight without any water. You can do the bleach with the water. And also, I know everybody is um, panicking about because they can't find cleaning supplies, says, is yeah. that, you know, it's little things that you can have in your home that will work. You have baking soda. You have hydrogen peroxide. You have lemon. Yeah, because we have a we have a viewer, as she said, we need to begin using non toxic products because it's yes. damaging to our health. Georgie, let her in. Yes, you know what? I understand that and I can respect that. I have a couple of clients that I do I do for eco friendly, but I want with that being said, I want them to know that those products are not as strong and potent as the regular. Just yeah. a FYI, they're not as strong. They have uh. They have some biodegradable things, but those are not as strong. I use those for all of the clients that basically ask me to use those. Yeah. And they clean to my, and this is only my opinion. Let me stress that. They don't clean as well. It's just my opinion. Yeah. It's just, it's okay. just my opinion. So I think people can definitely um, use whatever they feel comfortable, but this is just some opinions to give for yes. when we do open back up for what yes. is going to be definitely effective. If you guys have different cleaning things that you've used that you feel is effective that is more green, definitely tag those in there as well for people Absolutely. watching that are interested in the green. You know, Millie had to make her appearance. I her see color. her. <laughs> her hair is yeah. gone today. I'm glad to see that. <laughs> right. Barely. It's still from yesterday. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, I was going to say that I tried out this uh, past weekend. You know the uh, laundry, the handheld steamer? Like, you know, you to press your clothes, the little mist. Yeah. You know, I think I got, I picked up one up at a, a Lowe's just for a test. And okay. it was like 19 bucks. I actually put, instead of putting the chemical spray starch in there, I just kind of added a little bleach to it. Yeah. And went back to go down my curtains in the back of my chairs at my house to see what it worked. And they put out a really nice fine mist. And that's Good. another thing. And it dried, I mean, super duper fast. So if okay. you don't have a 
team or something to do that, you know, where you don't have myself or my staff to come in or another company to come in to do the steam cleaning for you, that works too as well. And that's good on mattresses too. So that's a good thing too. Yes. So even for those of you who are interested in possibly like as things start opening up a little bit more, getting a really good deep clean done to your house, like getting mm -hmm. everything sterilized, all of that, you know, and, and just, I think this whole thing has everybody just a little bit in different places in terms of, gosh, what should we be doing? Like, should we wear masks when we go out? Should we not wear masks when we go out? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I, I think I, it's just so hard to, to know depending because everybody has a different experience and everybody views this thing so differently. Well, I, first of all, when we uh, return to the workforce, let me say this. I uh, really want to encourage everyone to, when you go into your workspace, ask your boss, has the building been cleaned? Has it been sterilized? Has it been disinfected? All of these things. You need to know that. That's a need to know. And the second thing is that I want to tell you, if you're going to wear your gloves, if you're going to wear your gloves, get the dishwashing soap gloves, the thicker gloves. Because mm. you can take those and wash those eyes. I saw a lady again this morning at Walmart. She had on the disposable gloves. She got in her car with the gloves on, grabbed the basket with the gloves on. Then she started yeah. proceeding with the gloves on. You're cross-contaminating people. It doesn't do, you can't do that. <laughs> you yeah, because I mean, yeah. it's almost like not... just being without gloves at all. It's like you're just Absolutely. kind of, right. you know, Absolutely. If you're cross-contaminating. I mean, Absolutely. me and Elijah... Elijah and I went to Sonic last week just to get some, um, just for me to get a large water and nobody in there had gloves on at all. Like they're just oh, touching what? lids and, and Elijah looked at me. I was like, and we're driving off. So I just, I'm like, <laughs> what are we doing right now? Like what's happening? So I think everybody's level of seriousness is different. So different. And yeah, like, it's just like, okay, what are we doing with this? So right. I think it's, it's just having these conversations and just putting information out there for whatever, you know, touches you that you could utilize with what you're believing. That's all we want to do. Yes. And uh, I, like I said, the I don't like the gloves in public. And I, it just tickles me to see people driving the cars with the mask and the glove on. Are you, what are you doing? You're in your, you're in your own. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think you should be more precautious when you get out of the building. <laughs> then you start to, you know, to glove up. I have to tell my mom the same thing. I was like, what are you doing? I'm digging in my purse for gloves. Are you kidding me? Your gloves are in your purse? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You, just, you shouldn't even be doing it. I'm di I, she's digging for them in the bottom of her purse. Her gloves. Right. No, mom, it doesn't work like that. So, no. But and, I don't know, work. I, uh -huh, go ahead. And that's what I was wondering, too, is because and this is something that we can have a conversation about as well is like the mask and the gloves. Now everybody's regulated. I definitely understand. Like when we go back to the salon, um, let's, I, I get that we're having to wear the glove or the mask and all that because we're in each other's faces. Right. So we're thinking about droplets and all that type of stuff going back and forth. But that's why I feel, are we ready yet to go back to that industry right now or is it just the pressure of everyone who does want to go back kind right. of pushing the agenda and you know the governor just trying to you know do the best he can with the interesting it's political situation. yes it is and says i i pray that it doesn't get any worse than it already is but me personally i don't think that we are there yet i yeah. think people are more comfortable if we had a vaccine <laughs> i think people will be more comfortable <laughs> knew exactly instead of going on all these uh oh people's opinion of where it came from how you yeah. get it, what you need to do how long it lasts i don't think as i don't think as a you know united states i don't think that we're ready uh here in tarrant county i mean dallas county i mean every day is growing nothing i have not seen nothing says you know that we're declining because people are really not taking it that serious. I don't think they take it serious until it hits home. And I and understand I about the, go ahead, I understand about that, the economy, everybody needs the money, all, all that good stuff. All it's a very stuff. hard, I, it's a hard place to be in because I get it. On one side, I do get it because it's like, okay, some people did not plan to be off of work for months. Right. And especially as right. a hairstylist, you know, Typically, as hairstylists, we're, we're making our cash every week. We're making our money right. every week. 
right? And right. depending on your situation, it may not be a thing where you had saved for, you know, three or four months to be completely off of work. Off of so work. it's like, dang, let us get back to work. Let us get back to work. Let's get back to work. But then on the other end, I'm good for a little bit. And I don't well, want to feel rushed to go back to work because, you know, I just don't, I just ain't that. Yeah, and I'm worried that it'll put us back in an incline of um, of deaths of you know, and I just don't want to be on the front line of that going back. Now, I don't judge anyone who has to go back to work because they have to make it work. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be charging rent still. Like if the governor says that we can go back to work, landlords are like up oh, rents due. So I get it if you have to go back. Like I totally respect that. But um, I, I just personally feel like I don't want to go straight back in and risk that frontline situation. I'm adding Tarvia back in. She like dropped off here. I'm adding her back in. There you go. I have no idea what happened, <laughs> but I, could, I, I do apologize. I understand about, uh, about the rushing back into society, but you know, they have, we're supposed to have money in reserve. That's what we're paying our taxes for. That's all supposed to be sitting there somewhere really nice and pretty for reserve, just for things like that, for the families, myself included, who was not planning to be off for months. Right. I, mean, I, work, I work every day, all day. And so this was a setback for, for me as well and the people that work for me. So I think that the more precaution that we need to take, you know, it's our health first. Yeah. You know, it's, it's because if I first. die, I can't go back. <laughs> Hello, who's going to be sexy girl? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I told you the other day, this is not a great day for Target Bills to clean ladies. <laughs> <laughs> this is not nice. so. Yeah, I mean, I don't think if we're. I mean, we're slowly easing our way in, but we're really gonna have to be careful with you know, going back in. Yeah. Really. Yeah. I mean, really, really. I mean, every, I mean, just all the way around. Says even for our kids, you know, even though yeah. school is about to be out, but you know, the summer activities, you know, when they open up the gyms, you know, and then you know, the stuff lays dormant for so long, you know. Somebody two streets down, I mean, two rows down from me could have it, you know, not knowing yeah. it at the time. Yeah. I mean, we've had to go back to facilities where we think somebody may have it. So we still want you guys to come in. You know, big corporations, we you know, they show symptoms, you know. And I had a friend that had it, you know, went home on Wednesday, Wednesday night, you know, Saturday, they uh, he called and tell me happy anniversary. Monday, he's in uh, ICU intensive care. Yeah. You know, on a ventilator. He, I mean, just that fast. So we, just that, just that quick. You know, so and that's don't my know. fear. That's my fear about opening up where we're such in close contact with one another. Those of you guys who are just tuning in, that's why you know we wanted to have this conversation with salons opening, with barbershops opening, um, all of those types of things. So uh, estheticians, all of that. Um, with them opening, we want to talk about just like the safety in terms of cleaning, not only to just on the business side, if you have a business, um, but Please also on clean. the consumer side, on the consumer mm -hmm. side. So if you're like, okay, I do want to go and get my brows done. I do want to go in and, you know, get my hair done. What kind of precautions as well as the consumer should people be taking Would when they go it? in? Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you this, uh, because I need, I need my feet done. I mean, they just look like monkey claws. I'm serious. Right. I can climb a tree. <laughs> I can climb a tree. So I'm thinking, hey, if I go back to my my lady, which I'll take my own stuff in, which I already do anyway. They I, they always see me in uniform. So I, when I go into my chair, you know, I wipe down everything. You know, I want to see Amy bring out everything from the back. I want to see her. I want everything in the towel, so she knows I'm OCD that way. But yeah. I had told my husband last night, I'm just going to take my green rubbing alcohol and put it in my water. Yeah. You know, even though, even though they put those plastic liners in there, you yeah. know, and you know, they've been as close as long as we have. So all those things have set up. So are they going to yeah. take the time to wash and sterilize those things? So, right. you know, those are things you should be paying attention to. Yeah. And that's the thing I want also people to, you know, be cautious as the consumer, you know, go in and make sure that your stylist is wearing a mask. Make sure that yes. she's wiping, he or she is wiping things down in between, 
make sure that you know we don't get into this oh it's fine and you see multiple people in there waiting and cross contaminating that's not really good. you know especially going into this just make sure that you also are proactive and it's not just left to the salon because sometimes we're like moving 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 and though you know i'm sure everybody has the intention to do the right thing be you know be like okay hold on let's switch some stuff out and make sure my cape is different like you know don't mm -hmm. feel weird about that this is a no, time they, where it's they okay to speak then. up you know and, so and it's okay me, yeah me being a consumer you as well i know that i would feel better you know when i come into the salon or wherever and i see that you're taking the time to wipe down the cape or spray down yeah. the cape or anything like that oh i'm disinfecting the cape oh i can wait i can give you that i can respect right. that you know you're thinking about me and you because right. again, like I said, we bring all that stuff home with us, everything. Yeah. And I have people that say, don't go into this room, this room. But people don't understand your skin sheds, you know, your skin sheds, you have germs that you don't know and you uh, that you're bringing in with you. I know a lot of people take off with their shoes and all this kind of stuff. But just just the, I really wish I could just see the stuff that I really, really see. Yeah, for you and places like that I go into cleans. Yes, I know. My uh, husband tell me, he said, can we go somewhere and we eat and you just not notice how dirty? I said, that's just, that's what I do. You know, yeah. that's not good. You know, dust this thick and, you know, germs and stuff. And uh, the host, we went to a restaurant and the hostess was, you know, he was wiping his hair, touching his face. And then he picked up the menus and then, then had the nerd to turn around and pick up the silverware. And I was like, no, I need to see a manager. So I, people need to be taking, uh, making parts of that too as we go back into this thing and make sure if they go out that their tables are six feet apart, you know, that they are not in close proximity with anyone else because everybody's trying to get back back to the money, sis. Yeah, That's what the they're, trying to, they're trying to get back to the money. Now, as we end off, is there anything like little tips or little things that you've put together that you find work really well? Um, or just little things like that or, you know, tips for people at home that they could use certain things that you've mixed that you're like, oh, this works really well. Or like the steamer thing that you said you put a little bit of, you know, bleach in the steamer and steam some of the cloth stuff. Are there yeah. any things like that that you could offer? Well, yes. If uh, Of course, I'm a Lysol girl. So, you know, I lose, I use my Lysol portable cleaner for everything. I wash down everything from my cabinets to my countertops. So if you have that, I know somebody asked me not to share that because they're going to start using all of that. <laughs> but yeah. the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner is really good to wipe down <laughs> different things with when you can't find the disinfectant, you know, little things like that. You know, a cleaning vinegar is another good thing. Hydrogen peroxide is another good thing. And if you can't find any of the disinfectant cleaner sets, I tell people to go into a tractor supply place or even to a pet store. They have mm -hmm. it. That's they good. I can think things. about like that. They have, they, yeah, they have different things like that. Just cause you to add a little water to, and those work too, just as well. Just okay. little bitty things that you have around. You don't have to spend a lot of a lot of money on different things like that. And remember, it has to be seventy cent, seventy percent alcohol in order for it to work. I know everything okay. says sign up, but as long as it's uh, seventy percent, you should be good. Okay. And if they want to see anything that I do, they can always follow me on all of my social media. Yeah, make sure that we put all of your um, your YouTube up there, your Instagram, your Facebook, so people can kind of follow um, the different things that you're doing during this pandemic right now as well. Yes, ma'am. And uh, if they need me to come into any of their facilities, uh, you know, the bosses or whatever, if they're uh, shop owners or whoever, says she is too cute for cha-cha. Just let me, just let me know that yes. I'm, able, I'm able to do it as well. Good. And make sure they're washing their hands and they're changing those freaking gloves. Right. Get the dishwashing gloves. <laughs> Get the thick gloves. Those are washable. <laughs> non toxic EPA approved to kill surface COVID. Yes. And um, thank you guys for watching. Again, um, I'm going to be going live doing, you know, just bringing other people to in our community that could offer resource. Um, so today we had Tarvia Bills. Please follow her. Check her out. Ask her any questions. If you're interested in her services, follow her and all of her contact Please. information is available. Um, and she's right here in Arlington, Texas, but services further than just Arlington. So yeah, I'm going to Corsicana in the morning. Yes. So thank you guys for watching. And of course, any questions, please feel free to keep going and we'll go back and check them. And we will see you guys later and stay safe. Thanks for having me, Sid. Bye, Tarvita. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.
Bye.